Why did Boston Dynamics switch Atlas from hydraulic power to electric motors? Let's rewind to that viral clip. Atlas tries to jump a set of stairs, but stumbles. Then suddenly, both knees spray hydraulic fluid into the air. Yep, that wasn't a special effect. That was oil, real hydraulic oil. This dramatic moment revealed a deeper issue. Hydraulics, while powerful, are messy and prone to failure. Atlas was once the pride of Boston Dynamics, a hydraulic humanoid robot capable of flips, jumps, and lifting heavy loads. Hydraulics were chosen for one reason, raw power. With high power density, hydraulic actuators could outperform electric motors in tasks requiring brute force. That's how Atlas did backflips, front flips, parkour, and heavy lifting, all effortlessly. But with that power came problems. Hydraulic systems have poor control precision, limited responsiveness, and high risk of leakage. Oil compressibility, flow resistance in pipes, and tiny leaks all reduce dynamic performance, which means they're great for big, rough tasks, but bad at fine, precise movements. And let's not forget cost. Estimates suggest the hydraulic atlas cost over $1 million, some say even $2 million to build. That's not just expensive, it's unsustainable. You can't mass-produce a million-dollar robot. Meanwhile, the world changed. AI advanced, fast. We now expect robots to interact naturally, understand voice, see the world, and adapt in real time. This is the age of general-purpose humanoid robots. Robots that don't just lift, they assist, navigate, and collaborate. And for that, precise motor control is critical. Electric motors offer better dynamic response, simpler control systems, and far fewer messes. They're scalable, affordable, and compatible with modern AI robotics. That's why Tesla's Optimus, Figura One, and other humanoids are all electric. They're designed not just to impress, but to sell. Boston Dynamics knows that too. Their hydraulic atlas, while iconic, belongs to a research era that's ending. In today's robot race, it's no longer about who can jump the highest. It's about who can deliver the smartest robot at scale and make it useful in the real world. They'll deliver smarter, safer, scalable robots for the real world. The future isn't coming. It's already walking among us. Powered by electric precision and guided by AI, the new Atlas isn't just a robot. It's a signal that the age of intelligent machines has truly begun.